Hi guys, right, we're going to do a walk round for our eldest sixth birth. The first thing you need to be aware of is how to unlock your vehicle. You have the keypad in front of you, it's the big button to unlock, and exactly the same process to lock the vehicle. Firstly, you need to know how to attach your vehicle to electric hookup cable. For that one, you need the short stumpy key. This key unlocks all of the outside garages on the motorhome. So you simply pop the key in, turn and pull towards you and it opens up. Inside you'll see an electric hookup point. So you simply take the cable out of the van Feed it through the little hole there so it sits nicely. Pull the flap back. And just give it a push. You'll hear it click in. So that's your vehicle now effectively hooked up. The best way to check that you've effectively done this is to try and turn the microwave on because the microwave will not power up if this cable isn't in correctly. Next, we'll move along the motorhome and we have the blue filling cap. Now we supply the vehicle full of water it's unlikely you're going to want to empty it but should you wish to drive back with an empty tank in order to do so you simply need to turn this cap and you just twist it open and then closed but the chances are you won't need to do that. Next we have the water fill up point clearly stated water. Please, please don't be tempted to put fuel in here. To open this, you need to look for the key, which is a plain key. There are two keys for this van, which are very similar. The one with gold and black is the habitation door key, and the water one is the plain one. You literally pop the key in, turn, and twist to unlock. It's important once you've filled it, you relock, and again, you just twist the key. Very straightforward. Next along, we have the toilet. I'm going to do a separate video for how to empty the toilet, but in order to open that compartment, you need the short, stubby key. Then we have the grey waste. This is where you empty your dirty water from the showers and sink, etc exactly the same as a blue tap you simply you'll see it says open you turn it to open and turn it back horizontal to close it's important this is shut when you're driving then we have the garage to get into the garage just like all the other external compartments you need the short stumpy key pop the key in twist and pull in here you've got access to the chemicals for the toilet electric hookup cable, a hose pipe, chairs, and um, other miscellaneous items. In order to lock these garages, simply you turn the key all the way around. If it's horizontal, it means it's locked. We've then got the bike rack. Again, I'm going to do a separate video for the bike rack. And then we have gas. Now, you use gas in your motorhome for the cooking and uh, well for the hob and the cooker and if you haven't got electric cooker for any reason you can also use it to run the heating water and fridge to unlock this unlock both of the compartments with the same short stubby key that you've used for the other ones then you simply push both of the buttons in and the door will open you can see the motorhome comes with two gas canisters one will always be full and one will be a part used should you run out of gas while you're away, there'll be a symbol that comes up inside the van, which again, I will show you when we're inside. And it's very straightforward to switch it off. To change it over, you simply switch the gas off, unscrew the cable and push it over onto the other gas bottle. When you get to site, first thing you want to do is open your gas. And on the top, you'll see it says open and close. So you simply want to twist it to fully open. When you've done that, remember to shut and lock your compartments again.
the last thing to show you on the external is where the diesel fuel goes. You'll see it's clearly got a sticker saying diesel fuel only. Simply pull it open and it fills using the ignition key. When you return the vehicle to us, it's important it has got a full tank of diesel, otherwise charges will apply. To get into the habitation door, you need to use the key with gold and black. And it's very straightforward, just pop the key in, give it a quarter turn, and then pull towards you, and that's it open. To secure the door, to stop it banging in the wind, you'll see there's a catch. So simply pull the door back, lock it in, and that will then not move. What you must remember is when you want to take it out, you cannot simply pull, because it won't come. You need to press the lever, which releases the door. Thank you for watching, I'll be back shortly.